CSS Code YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a creative CSS animation background like this. You can see I am hovering into it and it's looking a gorgeous look and inside this it's having some good effect here. So we'll make this animation effect in this CSS background. So how to make it in this tutorial you will learn the full code with this code and you will learn how to create it. So now let's go to this my VS code and here is my VS code. I have created an HTML file is CSS creative animation background dot HTML and I'm not using any other style file you can also use that but I'm using that style file and this HTML element everything I will use on this one file. So here I'm typing this control plus one sorry shift plus one and now we will type here this title so here so i'm typing this title is css creative animation background okay animation background so here under this section this body we will type here this container so i'm typing here this container and class name is open here and under this section i will type here this span so here is this span here so now I will duplicate this span file here by just clicking this shift and alert and the down arrow so I make this sum of this section here I just make this just copy and paste it and now I will copy this class name is container here and now under this body section under this last of this body so here's I will open my style file so you can style file open by just link connection here you can make another style file but I'm opening in this one file that's why because you can get understand everything as easily in one page so I think I should make increase some of the text of zoom here okay so under this section I will open my style file here and now I will type here the basic style file so here's I will type this margin 0 so margin 0 and padding 0 okay and now I will type this box sizing border box and now there is no need to font any so after this file now just go to this section here and now type this container class name and open a style file here and now I will type this position relative okay here so I will type this position relative and now I will type here this here now we will type this background Okay, background will be I'm typing this color is background this and here's I will type this display flex so that's this all item will be flexible and here's now I need to type here this overflow hidden that's everything in overflow any, any design have some overflow here that will be hidden here and now I will type here this flex wrap so flex wrap will be wrap so that this every horse element we want to make this every element will be under this section of wrap by wrapping by wrapping by one this line this line this line like this type this all line will be here so under this section the flex display and this everything is here this flex display flex and hidden and this flex or wrap is overflow hidden here and this position relative so then we'll type copy this span here and now just we'll type here this span okay just span type it and now open this style file and here I will type this position will be relative again and now we will type here this width width and height so it will be I'm typing this 40 pixel and height also the same 40 pixel because of this the block I want to make some block and this block will be as if beautifully will be here and now and this but background is not showing because it will not show because we haven't here add here any width and height so i will add here the width is 100 percent we will add this this container is this basically this container class we are using for the background color and this background system and the position here so under width is 100 percent and i will type here this height is 100 vs that will be the vertically this will be the one display the one skin of this in our laptop we are using here this the height will be 100 base will be the full skin of this our element here and this will be one skin there is no scroll effect it's just a fixed skin here so under this section here span is we have added there so now we'll copy this class name span again here and now under this section we'll open here is span before before and open this 
and now we will type here this position absolute because if we make this relative position that will be go right and outside so we want to make here this position absolute so that will be this class will be this span before this will be so remove that background and it will be floating in this background over on this background and now we will type here the content here will be content I'm typing this content will be okay that double quotation mark that double quotation will be included that this background what we want to using that and this our mouse effect everything will be enter this include this content effect here so now I will type here this background okay I will type here this background color here so I am going to choose that an RGB color so that's why I am just typing 00, 0 here and now I will choose that from the RGB table here and this not looking some more gorgeous colors I want to make it ok that's it this color is almost here and now you can see that with this 40% and height 1% and now we will add here height and width so here's height will be 100% and the width will be hundred percent okay now if we reload this space this open with live server and what we see we can see here this bar is here so we'll make this bar section will make some different type of some multiple pointer section here we'll create this so now let's go to back and here we will type here this the transform scale here so we'll make this transform scale will be 0. Point, I'm typing this 0. 0.2 and now let's open it you can see this is got up we got the lot of section here okay now we will type here I'm going to make it a circle that will be border radius okay I have made some okay border radius border radius will be 50% that will be make the circle effect so now if we go there and you can see it's look like a circle here okay under this section and this look like a circle here so here's I will add one transition also but before making transition first of all I will make here the hover effect okay so here copy this and paste it and under this section after this span we need to add here the double clone hover okay so hover here and this hover effect will make here this transform this scale the transform scale will be increased so that side is this 0 0.1 0 0.2 will be show you that very small icon here this is small pointer so you want to make some increase that pointer why not hover one it okay that and i want to make it the scale is equal to one so here you can see when i hover it it's going some increasing here and there I want to make some another thing is top and left zero that will be a skin every skin will be suitable that as a small size and here I'm typing this top and left zero here uh, I made here some more left will be zero that's it the top and left is zero and this every skin this every pointer element will be good from this top is nothing you can see now and this previous is top have some space and the top and left have some space but now top and left has no space here okay under this section here the stands from scale is one here so now you can see we have make this and now we will copy this span more and more so just copy this span here and now I'm just pasting this all span by one by one that will be in case my full skin here so I'm just typing here shaped alert and down arrow so it will be typing here you can see a lot of span is already added in here so here's i have added a lot of span so i think that must be this all scan is enough for this full display you can see there's full displays here but here's some more space so i want to make some more span here okay here's i'm just copying this just selecting that and that and then shift alert plus down again and again so now we can see you will be see here now a lot of span is here you can see now here's some low in low space in this every one this every item here so you can see this is our background is successfully created here so now when we hover one it it's going some one by one but there is no blow the back effect is not showing here 
so under this section we want to go here this span before so you want to make here add a transition we will add here a transition will be 3 second I'm adding this transition 3 second and now we will see here here you can see this type of effect is going here now ok now let's go back to my VS code and here in this span section so we'll make here another item another properties display block so this property will be this every item will be shown there as a like a block and here's we'll add another properties here will be add a pointer event will pointer event will be none this pointer event everything is will be none here and now we'll add here the transition will be zero second okay now let's open this with live server and you can see it's looking like this okay it's now effect is looking like this but we want to make some glorious effect on this when we add a hover effect here so this hover effect here so you want to add a text shadow Okay, not text shadow it will be the box shadow it just I made that mistake when I same here the box shadow here we'll type this box shadow here 0 0 and 10 pixel and I will make here this color the same also um, this color the background we choose that and I will type here this the same color okay that's it and now we'll add here under this section a comma here and now break this line here and this line we will copy this and under this section we will make an another break here okay so now copy it here paste it here and now we will make this in the line size that will be looking good okay now I will press this line one by one just click on this shape plus alert and down arrow so here I will change this pixel size that will be more glorious effect here the 40 and here I'm typing this 60 and here I'm typing 80 okay 80 here now let's copy this line another time one go to down here and enter this here 100 okay now let's remove this comma from here and this that clone quotation comma here and we'll make this here and we'll decrease some with here this line that will be looking good and this one here okay now everything is looking good and now we'll see here the box shadow you can see it's looking the very glorious effect but here no color changing it's showing only one colors so we'll make here the animation frame colors here under this container section here we'll type here this animation animation will be here I'm typing here the hue color C O L O R hue color will be here I'm typing this 4 second linear infinite ok now copy this the color animation is hue color what we write it here and under this section we will open here the keyframe keyframe that means is equal for the animation for this animating effect here so we will type here this keyframe color here and now we will open here this when it will be 0% so it will be here the hue color will be not change here so hue rotate okay hue rotate will be zero degree the color will be zero degree here hue rotate hue rotate the color will be zero degree here and now when we open this and this copy this line again here so here's i have to type this hundred percent when it will be 100% and it will be 360 degree round so this 360 degree round it will be make that this full color effect the full bottom color effect how to write it that that will be fully made like this type okay before this hue rated so we have to add here filter so we just need to add here the filter here so I will type here this filter and this double clone and just remove this comma so you can write this everything is in one line 
okay just make it and just add here the clone comma here so i'm writing this again here so clone comma and it will be 360 degree okay so this now we will we'll open it with the live server here now we can see it's looking this color is changing here the background color and everything is looking change here you can see here that that, that color effect is basically we have add here this hue color will be four second so this color will be the background color will be changed in every four second this color will be changed and when we hover at the zero percent and this 360 degree so the color will be changed up to this full circle of this 360 degree so we open this and you can see here like this type it's looking a beautiful background color effect here this color animation effect with this gold circle here you can make like this type of circle color effect if you want you can watch this full videos here and this tutorial i hope you understand that how to make this like this type of background this css creative background animation color effect so you can make this and i hope you try this project in this you can practice that and it will be good you you can maybe a good design and this good effect creator than ace code so hope you enjoy this video please like on this and share this with your friends please subscribe and press the bell icon for all updates thank you so much for watching this video